Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I've got the 1066 sitting here, ready to rock and roll. Um, I did rake that little portion over there. It was literally one pass around it with the rake. But, uh, and then I got the baler sitting over there ready to rock and roll as well. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to rake up these end rows here. And then we're going to bale up that little portion and then come over and bale these end rows. And then we're going to go back and uh, rake the rest of this field. So we're going to see how much of that we can get done today. Hopefully we can get a decent amount of it done. And I'm noticing that again, once again, my recording software is killing my FPS. I still haven't figured out why... I still haven't figured out a setting. I've looked at so many different videos, tried so many different things, and it's still doing it, and it's just irritating as can be. So I don't know anymore. Maybe it's time to find a different recording software or something, because this is just ridiculous to go from 30 down to, and now I'm running 10. Like, this is pathetic. This is the FPS I used to get with my old laptop you know like not recording so like this is this is just ridiculous it's pathetic there's no reason that I should only be getting 10 FPS when I'm recording while when I'm playing normally and I'm running 30 40 so I don't know there's got to be some setting that's still messed up that I'm not figuring out I have absolutely no idea all I know is it is very very frustrating to deal with because it puts out shitty quality videos for you guys it makes my playing you know extremely annoying because now my game's running slow it's running like shit it's just frustrating all around. So, I don't know. I have to figure something out. Whether I need to get a different recording software for now. Or something. You know, something, something's something got to be changed. That's all that I know. And uh, what that is, I don't yet know. Because, like I said, something has to be different because I'm not going to continue making this series running 10 FPS videos every video it's just there's that's just pointless and I mean I don't want to play with 10 FPS let alone you know somebody want to watch a 10 FPS video So, like I said, I don't know what it is, but it's something, and it's got to get fixed. Because, I mean, I can play just fine when I'm not recording. I can run easy 30, 40 uh, on this map. So, why it's, you know, as soon as I hit that start record button, all of a sudden it's totally different story. I mean, it's, it's something. So I'm going to back up here. Because, yeah, I mean, when, especially when it, like, comes to bale stacking, like, if I'm only going to be running 10 FPS stacking bales, that's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be an absolute nightmare to do. I mean, it's... Like, that's going to be ridic more ridiculous in itself than this. Just trying to stack bales with 10 FPS. Like, it's going to be retarded. I mean, like I said, I've been playing with so many different settings. But every single time, as soon as I hit that start, it just drops. I don't know if there's, like, an encoder setting, if there's... You know, like, what it is, I don't know. And I've tried and tried and tried to fix it. 
and it's still doing it. Like, it's so goddamn frustrating. Because, I mean, like I said, nobody wants to watch a video in 10 FPS. Like, I don't want to watch, you know, shitty video quality like that. I sure as hell don't want to play with shitty quality like this. So, I don't know what it is, but uh, I may have to look around for different recording software for now. I mean, streaming, it's still just fine. And I set the recording settings up exactly the same as stream settings. So I don't know if there's some CPU setting I gotta change or what the deal is. But, I don't know. Uh, after I get this video recorded, I'm gonna probably sit and play around with the settings some. Yeah. See if I can't get something figured out. So... But we'll see if we can't get it figured out. Let's try and pick up this little raggedy bit here. If we can. We'll finish this pass around the field and then we'll go bail that little guy. Get this get these two end rows bailed up. And then we can come back and continue raking. I don't know if I gotta like find a way to like talk to someone at Streamlabs to get you know some sort of assistance with this to like figure it out or what I gotta do I mean I've watched several YouTube videos for frame rate drops and I've done everything in those videos and tried it still does it I mean there's nothing but my stream labs and my farm sim running those are the only two things running and like when I'm recording on my desktop it's still you know it's just fine but once I get into the game it just drops and like dies on me basically I mean I don't know what like I'm I'm running out of ideas on what it could even be Alright, so we're going to go ahead we're going to pull the rake up here. Kind of line up with this windrow here. Come on. Oops. Oops, I guess I left this guy running. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a few bales here. So, um, I did download a baler add-on, so as you guys can see, it does say net wrap. Uh, one thing I wish is that this bale kicker actually kicked the bale out, so it wasn't right at the ass end of the baler. Kind of annoying. But 
this baler needs a lot of work. I personally don't feel like putting all of that effort into it right now anyways, I guess. Maybe one day eventually I will, but for the time being, I have no d ambition or desire to do it. I mean, it works, at least, so... Get it wrapped. Go. I mean, at the moment, the only thing I really am going to focus on working on is this recording uh, BS here. That's the only real thing that I'm really worried about right now. I'm not too worried about this baler. I want uh, I want my videos to turn out the way that they should. So we'll see what happens, I guess. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Apparently we're not going to be able to. I want to turn enough to get that little bit. What, honey? I have a tool. There we go. Alright, so we got two bales off of that. Kind of what I was figuring that we get about two bales out of this little section, so... Might have been a little less, too, though, if we had had an empty baler, which we didn't. We did come with a mostly full baler, so. I would bail in cab in this tractor, but the way that the camera is sitting, the camera needs to get raised up a little bit in this, uh, which I might go in and do uh, to it. Um, I do want to do some editing of this tractor anyways. Uh, cause my grandpa, or my great grandpa had an Alice 7080, just like this. And, uh, so I kind of want to make it look a little bit like his tractor. We're just going to go around the rake here and make a nice wide turn just because the turning radius on this tractor kind of sucks. Alright, so let's get these filled up. See if we can't get a few good bales off of here. So because this map runs the big bales, I'm kind of curious to see what... Uh, what the uh, Anderson trailer is going to do with these. If it'll haul them correctly or not. Um, and it might look a little goofy or something. I don't know yet. We'll just have to see. Because um, I know. You know I've seen pictures of stuff that. You know. Isn't set up for the big bales. And they just. You know look all funny. So. We'll have to see, I guess. Maybe they'll be clipping into each other or something like that. The only bad thing about if they are clipped into each other is, uh... Yeah, I can't bail in cab in this tractor. Um, is if they are, you know, kind of colliding into each other, that means that they'll probably just explode everywhere uh, once I unload them. So... We'll have to kind of see how that goes, I guess.
I don't know if there needs to be like a collision added to the kicker arm that actually like pushes the bale or what's got to be done I know you know like with Medicine Creek how they have uh, big bales incorporated into the map where you know whatever baler you use it'll make big bales uh, kind of deal that's something that I'm definitely gonna be probably looking at adding into my map because uh, I mean these bales are a lot more realistic in size than those little dinky ones you know the standard dinky bales I mean if I time it just right I can make it kind of work if I move the tractor at just the right time I can kind of make it work like the kicker arms kind of pushing it correctly so once we run out of net wrap we'll have to take this baler to the shop because uh, at the moment I don't have anything I don't have pallet forks for the skid steer anything like that to buy the pallet and then go to the dealership get the pallet of twine or uh, net wrap and then haul it to the farm or to the baler wherever the baler's at uh, at the moment I mean we could always buy a set of pallet forks for our John Deere skidder and we could always buy a car trailer you know buy a couple pallets in that wrap throw them on the trailer but I don't know I guess we'll see when it comes time to replacing our net wrap <clears throat> We still got a while before we need to really replace it, so. We still got quite a few bales that we can make. One thing I do want to look at doing on this tractor is I want to look at adding. Let's see, I don't think this tractor. I have. I don't remember now I guess I'd have to look but I don't know if this tractor has front loader capability if it doesn't then I want to look into adding it because uh, that's one thing that grandpa had on his uh, is he always had a loader on it in the winter time um, granted now my uncle who uh, took the farm over after my great grandpa passed away um, he went he had bought a uh, four-wheel drive, I think it's a New Holland or a Ford or something like that. Oh, we're full. Um, something like that, New Holland or Ford tractor. I think it's a Ford tractor that he bought um, that has a loader on it. So now he uses that instead of the Alice because, you know, just like this one, it's just, you know, two-wheel drive. It doesn't have front-wheel assist or anything like that. So... Um, you know, in the winter time, struggled a little more than that front wheel assist will, so, uh, he did pick one of them up, so he doesn't really use, doesn't really use the Alice as much in the winter time anymore, uh, unless he absolutely has to. I don't know why the rake skipped that a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about that bit. So I like how our baler is pretty much fully dirty. This tractor isn't even dirty yet. Not too sure why that is. And we'll just leave that bit, I guess, because... I don't feel like backing up and whatnot to go get it. But up here we'll spin around and go grab that. And I see like the pickup, the nodes for where the pickup is grabbing stuff from, those need to be moved back and in a little bit because. You know, I pick, it's picking up basically right at the hitch right now. Oh, we're not going to be able to get that 
those two little bits that's all right uh, it's basically picking up right at the hitch right now you can kind of see about by the time the tires hit it's starting to disappear so oh uh, maybe not but they do need to be moved in because it does pick up wider than the actual pickup itself so that needs to be changed now, there's a few things that still need to be fixed on this baler that you know never got done when it was created even so I kinda wanna change the sounds too I wanna see if I can get a sound where or get it so that when it closes the end gate it kind of makes that thud that a real baler makes where you can kind of hear the end gate closing kind of want to see if I can't get something like that set up on this not sure if it would work or not or if it'd be doable or anything but all right so I'm just gonna pull this guy right over here along the edge for now uh, actually let's go right over here because then it'll be a little more out of the way all right it's starting to get dirty slowly slowly but surely all right so let's run over here to the rake Go ahead and get backed up here and we'll start rigging some up and down passes here. Oh, God damn. I don't know why it does that. Where when I press it the buttons to uh get rid of the HUD, it uh instead wants to raise my rake and whatnot or whatever's attached to this track to the tractor at that time so we got about another seven minutes so we should maybe be able to get all this yeah we should be able to get all this raked up I do like the look of this now that I finally have shaders installed. It took long enough to finally get it to work. <clears throat> and I am using the KMN uh, modding shaders. Uh, you can find them on their Facebook page. They did, uh, they did have them uploaded at one time and then they took it down. But uh, KMN just put it out again. So, they are out there again and available for download on their Facebook page um, and then you can just kind of play with the settings yourself for me I have pretty much every setting turned on uh, except for two of them because there's two that kind of make it they make things far off a little blurry and then they make things really close a little bit blurry so like you know when I was first got it working I was playing on a different save game I uh, went to the in cab view on a pickup and the entire dash and steering wheel and everything was all blurry so I turned those two off um, I don't remember what they're called but there's two settings that uh, do um, affect that stuff a little bit and I just shut those ones off because I didn't like the way that it looked with them on so so I just turned them off figured I just won't use them is he back there with his bobcat? I don't know it's a garbage truck
I'm going to see if I can't get this end wind roll raked into this one here. See if I can't get them close enough together to do that. Because we can't quite rake three together. If this rake was a little wider, we could. Actually, no, we, it would have to be a lot wider to be able to do that. But... That's okay. Two windrows will work. Alright, get flipped around here and see if we can grab that windrow there. And just rake these two together. Then we'll have three raked together technically. Come on, why are you skipping? I don't know why this rake is some, like liking to skip in spots that it shouldn't even be skipping. Cause like the windrow is fully in between the um, rake wheels, but it just for some reason does not want to. Well, I went way too far up. I can't see worth a damn in that view so I think what I'm probably gonna do here is I'm probably gonna cut this video just a couple minutes short just because I want to figure out this you know issue that we're having here and um, get that figured out and then I'll come back I'll get this rake moved up to our next field and then we'll uh, get our baling done and um, probably start cutting some more once once I get this issue figured out because like I said a few times now I guess but like I said it's it's bugging me it's really driving me nuts so that's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications if you have not already to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure to check out down below in the description where you can find my PC specs, my upload schedule, links to all of my social medias, as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.